Good afternoon. This is WAG Chicago. It is October 1st, 2016. Um, this incident occurred uh, live in front of me at uh, 10 o'clock p.m., give or take a couple of minutes, uh, 2200 hours Chicago time. And uh, I was going to get uh, my wallet out of the car. Uh, I left it there. And uh, as I turned around to come back down the driveway, I could see the sky over my house. And I look from the north, uh, heading south, there's a red dot, uh, kind of like this dot on my screen right now. It was about that color. However, it was not flashing. It was solid red. This red dot flashing is for my uh, screen app. Um, it's heading south. I watch the uh, airplanes quite a bit around my uh, neighborhood because there's been so many of these private planes flying by lately. And uh, I use the uh, flight app, tells you how fast they're going. So I've kind of gotten uh, accustomed to being able to judge how fast these planes are going. This looked like a small craft uh, reference speed. So it was probably doing maybe 150 miles an hour, 120, something like that in that range. Uh, it was not moving any faster than that, like a big jet or whatever. So uh, I see this thing, it's not flashing, solid red. A red glow to it and uh you're not gonna uh, it's it just red i've never seen a red object in the sky um uh, and i ran in the house to the garage it was still open because i just came out yelled for my daughter her and her friend are watching a movie they come running out they see it they observe it moving through the sky with me now so now there's now i'm like oh i gotta do, get the camera out you get so excited you forget to even pull your camera out and i'm trying to do this for uh you know, this, I, even I forgot, and I'm a trained observer. But anyways, uh, you get so excited at what you're looking at. And it's heading straight south. And uh, anyways, it stops, makes like a, a, a right turn to go straight west. It moves a little bit west. And then, poof, it's just gone. Like it turned the lights off. So it didn't fly away. It didn't shoot to the sky. It just, like, lights got turned off. So... This is, I took two pictures. I also shot a video. However, the video is not on my phone. So I don't know, some kind of error happened. Uh, the flash was on. So uh, if somebody was looking at me down here, if that is something up there, um, they could have seen I was taking pictures. So uh, I didn't have time to mess with the, the, uh, the camera. But anyways, I'm gonna zoom. It's here on this screen. I'm gonna zoom in. This is the first picture I'm zooming in. You can't even see it really at a distance on here. Like I said, this is Samsung Galaxy S2. You start to see it about here. So right in the middle of the screen, you start seeing this white. But it, remember, it was red, just like this dot on my application here. And you notice uh, there was uh, scattered clouds. It rained earlier tonight. Um, so I don't know if this is some cloud being lit up. That's as far as I can go on the phone here. Uh, anybody who's got uh, applications can zoom in even more. However, uh, so here on this screen, the way you're looking at it, it's moving uh, to the left. So it's coming from the right side of the screen, kind of like this. If it started there, you would see it going this way, about this fast through the sky, trying to simulate how it would have looked. But it was a dot, you know, like a bright light. Anyways, uh, here you can see this weird glow around it and if you look to the right oop, let me turn that off if you look to the right um i just lost it there okay let me zoom back i had a little mail mix up here on my screen uh if you look to the right of the object it looks like there's a black um uh, about the same distance that that is wide it looks to me like there's a black section of the sky there behind it to its right um i hope you can see it on your screen if i tip my phone up i could see it a little better um all right now let me show you the second picture is a little better so i don't disappoint you here you can see it already i think the camera focused better this time um oh that's earlier okay Actually, let me angle it up. This is the way I had it. Okay. Now, as I zoom in, 
Uh, this blew my mind because I thought there's no way it was going to catch this because it was so dark. And I know these cameras aren't the best. But here, I'm trying to get it where it's focused the best. When I saw this afterwards, I was kind of freaked out here. And that's as close as I can get. So what I'm going to do is go to where it's best focused and then somebody else can um, zoom in with their software right about there. That's probably the best focus point. Um, and again, if you look around it, it looks like there's a glow around it. Uh, I did not see that in person. All you saw was the red dot um, or the red light, whatever it is. The whole thing was just a red light. It wasn't like a light in the front and a light in the back that was a different color. It was solid red. Um, and then here it would be moving. If you saw it from here, it would be moving across the sky like this. But if you look at my dot, that's what it looked, that red. I wish you could see that on here. Uh, let me zoom back out. You can kind of see the around it. I have not edited this yet. Uh, I'll have to download this to the computer. I just want to get it up online as quick as possible. There it is when I go further out. So you guys tell me what this is could be what it is uh, here here you could see there's like radiating light around it and it's in a circular pattern or circular look um, so it has like a glow but you didn't see that with your eyes you only saw the red light there was no shine around it or whatever you want to call this like encapsulated or anything so anyways that's uh, enough excitement for me for one night it lasted about 30 seconds in the view that I could see it from where it started from, where I noticed it, moved across. Actually, it was probably a minute because uh, at about probably 15, 20 seconds, I ran in to get my daughter because I had a witness, came back out, and probably another 10, 20, probably 20 more seconds we saw it. Then it stopped, and then lights, it started to make a turn to the west, and lights out. And we waited about a half hour. It's now almost 11 o'clock by the time I'm making this. I've been outside ever since, trying to see if it popped out again, whatever. Nothing happened. So, uh, oh, and this is in, uh, where, what do you call it? Uh, we're west, uh, northwest of Chicago, about 20 miles. So, um, I don't know if anybody else in the Chicagoland area saw anything tonight, but, uh, closer to the Wisconsin border. It's called Lake County, Illinois. Um, but that's all. I, I don't know what else to say. Sorry about the, the stuttering here, but I'm still excited. Hope everybody has a great day, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And <laughs> I don't even want to say this, but if you play with this, the patterns, how your brain makes patterns out of things, um, you start seeing weird things in that glow up to the top above it. Almost like something's looking down, but I'm not even going to go there. That's kind of not what I'm here for. So, all right, everybody have a great weekend. This is WAG Chicago, 1042, over and out.